Listen, I admit it. Watching Bernie Sanders is just flat out refreshing. Please don't get mad at me because he's an honest socialist. When I watch a dishonest Republican talk about fighting back Obamacare and, and we're, we're not going to be a socialist nation, not that many of them say that, um, I, I feel jaded because it's so hypocritical. All right? It, it really is. And Bernie Sanders is just flat out saying, I'm a socialist and we're going after the rich and we're going after Wall Street. And, and I don't know if his numbers are correct. I've got to find out where he's getting his numbers. But when he says that the top 20 people in America have more wealth than the bottom 50%, if that number is even remotely close, I smell a rat. I admit it. There's something that is fundamentally unholy about that. Not just unjust, unholy. Because you have to ask the question, how could that have happened? Something somewhere is rigged. And even Trump, who's a billionaire, has said he's going after the hedge funds. He's going after certain elements of Wall Street that are either using the rules unfairly or using rules that are corrupt, put in place by Bush the Younger and by, by Obama. All right, We're, we'll find out. We'll dig deeper to see how close Bernie's numbers really are. But it's so populist. It's so populist. Let's go ahead and play a little clip of Bernie Sanders' speech just to, just to feel the energy in the room. We have sent the message that will echo from Wall Street to Washington, from Maine to California. And that is that the government of our great country belongs to all of the people and not just a handful of wealthy campaign contributors and their super PACs. And tonight, with what appears to be a record-breaking voter turnout, turnout. And I say huge. <laughs> we won because we harnessed the energy and the excitement that the Democratic Party will need to succeed in November. And by the way, did you know, you see, you feel that enthusiasm. There's an army of young people in that room. He took 85% of the 30 year old and under vote. Friend, I have been involved in politics, in campaigns, in my own campaigns. I have been involved in analyzing political data for decades, okay? I've never seen or heard of numbers like that. 85%. The man is 74 years old. I think Hillary is 68 or 69. The only demographic that she won in was people 65 and older. He beat her with women, 53 to 47. Okay, that's a large margin. He slaughtered her with young people. It may be that these numbers are insurmountable. It truly may be. Now, She's got a way better ground game than him in the other states that are coming up. So I'm not writing Hillary off, but I'm telling you, she's in big trouble because if that youth energy translates into other states, he'll have an army of foot soldiers that are going to clean Hillary's clock. When we come back, we'll play a little bit of Donald Trump's speech and make some comments there about things that concern me.